Hi everyone, this is a business and corporate law group presentation and we have four members in our group. Me Rubina Shrest, Ajay Tamang, Urmila Tandukar and Sabin Karki. And our group presentation topic is um, Australian Security Investigation Committee versus Mr. Parker. And I'm going to do the introduction to this um, topic. And this is the case um, about the directors and their duties towards the corporation um, and the consequences happen when they didn't follow the rules and the regulation of the company. And the Mr. Parker is a formal director of uh, QLS Superannuation Private Limited and also a trustee of uh, Law Employee Superannuation Fund who failed to act honestly. So this cost case, uh, this case um, caused loss of more than a million dollar as a result and um, court has banned Mr. Parker for managing his corporation for uh, four years um, because he failed to act honestly. So this is the introduction part and further will be discussed by my friends. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank Ms. Rubina. Uh, um, from here, I'm going to continue my slide. And the court declares uh, uh, to Mr. Parker that he has to submit to the uh, board of the director of partnership um, his proposition for it to credit 2.5 million to uh, Purdue to renegotiate uh, his current borrowings uh, without taking appropriate care to acquire data and acquire data with regard to the execution by Mr. Purdue uh, of his comment, commitments uh, commitment under his e uh, existing loan from the public trustee of Queensland and the court, uh, the Mr. Parker has been like banned from managing managing corporate corporation corporation for four years because of failure to to act honestly and not using his position in proper uh, way as being a director of uh, Queensland uh, Q, Q, Queensland as uh, has <laughs> under the corporate act. There is an important reminder that the directors. Um, of corporate trustee of superannuation and superannuation fund have duties of care and uh, are subject to ASIC regulation in that respect. Uh, the Federation Court has found that Mr. Parker failed to ex exercise the require requires degree of uh, care and diligence in approving a loan which ASIC believes caused the fund to suffer losses of more than SI million. So I'd like to hand over my slide to Mr. Sovin from here. Uh, thank you. Thanks, AJ. Hi, this is Sovin with student ID FCO2484. And now I'm going to explain about reason behind the judgment. So the essay case is presently limited to looking for affirmations that Mr. Parker did not follow corporations law section two three two two four and six and he is not allowed from dealing with the company and a request that pay a monetary punishment in connections to every repudiation by him of dollar two hundred thousand it is acknowledged of this attributes essential to many superannuation reserve made with binding commitments from employers of that kind managed by qlss that the parliament has forced overwhelming duties on both the trustee of such support and the officers of those trustees. According to section 52.8 of that act, every one of the legal agreements restricting QLSS as trustee likewise work as a plea by every one of the four respondents and its tips to practice a sensible level of nurture, the motivation be behind guaranteeing the trustee completes those contracts. And the remaining part will be explained by Urmila. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Urmila Tandukar and my student ID is EMV20372. First of all, I would like to thank Jonathan for giving us this opportunity to talk about our assignment, which is Essex versus Mr. Parker. Mr. Parker was found to have a breach a duty of care by approving loan. My team has already discussed about the um, about this case and I would like to add some of the determination factor that we have analyzed from the case. We have chosen not to force any financial punishment on Parker since he is no way, shape or form exclusively, exclusively in charge of the disaster bringing about 1997 from the board of QLSS choosing to leave upon business learning and explicit, explicitly preferring to make the advance of Perdua. We have uh, we have not been set up to discover real untruthfulness on Parker's part. However, we have found a high level of rashness. We like to consider here the likely effect that the preculations will Parker will have on Parker. We would like to assert that Mr. Parker, in activity of his forces and the release on his obligation as an officer of QLS Superannuation PTY Ltd, reputated Section 2324, the Corporation Law of their Campaign Behavior. And I would like to conclude our presentations here. Thank you so much.